Hey everybody, welcome back. Marcus Graves back again with another edition of Graves Plays featuring Jedi Fallen Order. Last time we were exploring Kashyyyk and we encountered a lot of the creepy, big creepy crawlies of Kashyyyk and see and especially with the uh, with the with the reshock, I believe reshock, why shock? I think there's an R in there. Reshock. <laughs> just exactly why the Wookiees have to be big and bad enough to uh, rip the arms out of people's sockets. So we, fle we freed one cell block of Wookiees and we are going to go free some more and gain some more goodies along the way. If you enjoy the upcoming video, please like, comment, share, subscribe if you're so inclined. And now, let's get on into it. That way over there seems to continue on to the main objective. Yeah, that's... no. Well, this is showing up red on the map, so... Yeah, can't go that way anywhere. Alright. not opening. Oh. This Wookiee died from toxic fumes. The Empire is poisoning the planet. I know that, uh, oh, my, some of my changes didn't take. After, after I saved, I made a couple um, superficial modifications to BD and the Mantis, but I thought I interacted with the meditation ring after, but obviously I did not. No, not the ponchos. Because to be honest, I can't stand the ponchos. Um, I just don't, just not digging the look. I like that one, but I'm not sure if it completely fits this, and I picked this one, Blue Leader. And for the Mantis, I picked this. There we go. And I was just thinking, um, I know that they portrayed some Wookiees as being that... Thin, but is it me or just, you know, when you see like Chewbacca or Tarful or, you know, any of the ones we've seen live action, they just seem a little bit more, because they were never like, they were never like big, but they were broad shouldered, you know, it just, it, it just seemed kind of uh, slim, I'll say. <laughs> this is the other side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a brawler droid processing unit. You thinking what I'm thinking? did say that you could uh, kind of hack into the KX series while oh, they're stunned.
this is where we're at. Cool. Well, let's get some experience going. Got a hostile. Come on. He can't handle fighting us. On him. You can't overpower us. I can't fight anymore. Spring strike. Let's see, that's what that's the one I was trying to do against the the purge trooper just now. Why not? That's it for now. Of course. the heck? Come on, man. I don't have to do it. <laughs> I don't know. It's 
trying to swing around, I'm like, duh, you don't have to do it, stupid. <laughs> Expected to, <laughs> to lunge that far out. <laughs> no. Saws up ahead. We must be close. <laughs> this thing. Good work. Huh. I'm sure they'll be able to use that for something of a I'm just not figuring out its use right now. Get going, BD1. Okay, I'm going down. to get over to that side where the grates are. But I'm thinking like, hmm. Oh, duh. Duh. Duh, Marcus. same token. Come on. Get, get the... Come the fuck on. Fine, fuck it. We should tend to these wounds. Thanks. Find something? Fuck it, you know what? I'm gonna give it one more try. Cause that's some bullshit. I'm that close and I can't grab the thing. Get the fuck out of my face. See, <laughs> the fuck out of me, 
serious? Fuck it, fine. I was say, let me just go grab the crate. We're gonna do all that, but I'm here, I suppose. So. To the prisons. We need the Wookies to finish this. Hurry! They've got reinforcements. Go, go, go! Where did you come from? The door's jammed. Won't budge. We're trapped. You gotta get them out of there. Come on. I am terminating your life. <laughs> I'm trying to stun him, I want to try to use the uh I want to try to use the new slicer. <laughs> I was trying to jump, jump back. No. I'm gonna demolish you. Huh? Still not enough. Still not enough space. Still too that going. Thought maybe.
yeah, exactly enough to get me there. Holy fuck. out of here. Like, he could, any other time you grabbed onto the fucking side. Fucking hey. I really need a stem. That feels better. That's hilarious. Are you... Are you coming with us? Or are you just down? Okay. I thought maybe we could like, you know, guide him in a direction or maybe I'm missing something. Hi, BD-1.
Nice job. So that's it. Okay, that's available now. I'm really pissed about that one, about that one crate near the poison um, refiner and everything like that. Oh, he's about to backhand me. <laughs> damn, god damn. Stranger danger.
have been hard years. We've lost comrades, friends, family to the Empire. Dark times. And yet the fire still burns. The fire arrives. Hope still burns. The Jedi are not yet lost. We are not yet lost. Kashyyyk is not yet lost. For the course! You've seen what the Empire has done to Kashyyyk. These stories are playing out all over the galaxy. My partisans could use a Jedi on our side. I'm honored. But we have our own mission I can't walk away from. Not yet. The offer stands. Keep it in mind. Cal, I'm Mari Kosan. And this is Commander Choisek. <laughs> Uh, sorry. I'm not quite fluent. Choisek says he'll do whatever he can to find Tarful and vouch for you. Do you think he's still alive? Have faith, Cal. We'll be in touch with your ship. For the cause. You know Tarful? He was part of Tarful's crew, but got captured on a mission. Tarful couldn't risk more warriors to save him. He spent months in that refinery. Choisik will help you find Tarful. They're always on the move. Could take some time. And that's all I can ask. Thank you. Good to have you on our side. You look beat, buddy. Understandable. I'm glad we could help the Wookiees. Free and the oppressed, that's where the passion to keep fighting comes from. Every death, every dead end, creates a fighter who isn't afraid to lose. Enough of them, and we'll take the day. You've been fighting for so long. Have you learned anything from war? Nothing unites people like tragedy. Everything the Empire takes from us only makes us stronger. Each injustice spurs others to join our cause. If we stand together, we can win. Just like today. Thank you. So, what's your count at? I think 20. I'm at 14. You've got to catch up. Oh, I will. The longer I stay alive, the more imps I get to take out. Justice for what they did to your home. Our home. We're all in this together. The same cause. We're family. What happened to yours happened to mine. Yeah, what he said. They'll be okay. I had to jolt this thing. I 
I've been monitoring Imperial communications and I picked up something. Project Augur has been reactivated. The Empire may be close to finding another Zeppo tomb. Looks like we still have work to do. Think Saw and the others will be okay? Always looking on the bright side, huh? Hey, uh, for everything. Good work, BD. Last time I went down here, I got attacked. I, I got attacked? <laughs> I got attacked by the Reese Shark. Now the enemies have respawned. Now I'm not too keen on going down there. No, <laughs> I don't think there's a way for me to get to that yet, anyway. Unless there's just something I'm not thinking of right now. Hmm. Continue to explore here or go to Zeppo. Can always come back. Plus, from what I can remember in the last playthrough, there was not a whole lot. Kind of like the Echo back there. There wasn't a whole lot I could do right now with what I'm able to do. Hey, Seer. Cal, good to see you back in one piece. Mari Kosan contacted us. We know you couldn't find Tarful. I love risking our lives for nothing. It's fantastic. It wasn't for nothing. Mari and Choisik will come through. I like your optimism. We could all use a little of that now and then. Hey, I'm a positive guy, too. I'm positive that if I die, I'll be very <laughs> upset. <laughs> you did good, Cal. We might not have found Tarful yet. You saved lives today. Don't forget that. Thanks. My bad, guys. I'm just thinking that one crate is bothering me. You know the one I was trying to get to. I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't jumping right or something. I don't know. When you want to go, let me know. I'll be right here. Later, Cal. Please. Okay, so no more props.
Hey, kid. Nice one on the seed collecting. But the terrarium still got plenty of room. So, you know, get out there and get me some seeds. Sure, Grease. Whatever you say. One that looks more like Maul's emitter. Not a bad look, actually, for that. Let's see what's out there. Or should I tra travel to Dathomir? I was saving that for, uh... I was saving that because I'm like, oh, that seems like something you would go to later in the story if you were doing, you know, if you were following a story. However, as the story continues, like nothing is taking us that way. You know, we're kind of within this little triangle here. So as it's doing that, it's Dathomir seems more just kind of out of the way and not really a part of the story. Let's go to Dathomir. Setting course for Dath. Wait a minute. You want to go to Dathomir? I'm surprised Cordova went there. You must have had good reason. I am staying put on the Manus once we arrive. Red sunlight cannot be good for your skin. This place used to be home to a powerful cabal of force wielders yep. known as the Night Sisters. Led they by used Mother Talbot. What, like Jedi? No. No. These witches served only themselves. Their powers focused on deception, illusion, manipulation. <laughs> Sounds like someone I used to know. During the Clone Wars, the Night Sisters made a deal with a Sith Lord who betrayed their trust. In the end, they were nearly wiped out in a massacre. Count Dathomir Count. is a deadly place. We should be careful. You don't have to tell me twice. Ah, coming up on our creepy destination. Grab some seat, kid. This is a dead 
deadly, dangerous place. I'm prepared to face anything. I know you are, Cal. One of the many reasons BD-1 trusted you with Cordova's information. We're lucky to have you. Do you know anything about the Night Sisters of Dathomir? I knew a little. Many Jedi weren't even aware of their existence, but being Cordova's apprentice came with some unique insight. He always thought they were interesting, as he did with most ancient cultures. And what did you think? I never came here. I never wanted to. As I recall, that was about the time the two of us began going our separate ways. The darkness always has an effect, one way or another. BD-1, keep an eye on Cal for us. You know, I know they had a comic book with, um... Oh, holy crap, Nika Futterman. Asajj Ventress, holy shit, I don't know why it was taking me so long to get it. I know they came up with a comic book to try to tie, when the Clone Wars was cancelled, to try to tie her story up. But it'd be pretty dope if uh, she showed up here. Never read that comic, nor do I know what the story was, so I'm not sure how it wraps up, but it'd be cool if it, you know, we saw her here. Wasn't sure if that was like a thing we could climb up. is pretty much dead, so. Well, good thing we weren't standing there. What is that thing? You wouldn't count on them being friendly. Yeah, no. Coming around. BD. Very nice. A lesser night out. Night Egg. Does not bode well. I'm feeling weak, BD. Something interesting?
Don't fall behind. What did you go towards? Were you just trying to point the way for me? Here, BD. Okay, so it seems to be the way they want me to go right now. Yeah, I knew I heard something. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, burial pods for the Night Sisters. so great to be. It's a burial pod that's not been open. BD.
Damn it. For some reason, that shit has been kind of frame rate drops like crazy sometimes. Second, I was like, is it me or does it seem like there's nowhere to go?
Doesn't seem to be a safe point in sight. So you know what? I'm going to do this. So how'd it go, Cal? Not now. <laughs> Well, guys, that brings us to a close today. Like I said, I wanted to go to Dathomir because it started to seem like the the outlier, you know, like it wasn't really a part of the main story. I mean, yes, it may bring up some things, it may give us some good, um, um, some good crates, some good um, items, and things of that nature, um, and certainly more information as it comes to, uh, as it pertains to what Cordova was looking for and how to, and, and his, his quest and all that, um, but it started to seem like very not part of the story, so I'm like, you know what, let me go over here and see what's going on, and um, damn it if we don't have some more spiders over here, <laughs> but they're not big ass spiders. They're, I mean, they're big-ass spiders in terms of normal spiders, but they ain't big-ass Kashyyyk spiders. So, you know, it's all good. <laughs> Still on the hunt for Tarful. Was not on, he was not on Kashyyyk. Um, we were able to do a little thing, you know, a little something here and there. Much shorter planet. Shorter in terms of everything being there. Like, Zepho... Like, as I said during those, uh, during the playthrough of Zepho, like, Zepho seemed sprawling. And Kashyyyk was very, seemed very, um, insular. And very contained. So, not gonna lie, that kind of seemed weird. Um, but then again, it did say, I think the Hollow Table did say that we only explored 33% of the planet. So, maybe as the missions and the story continues forward... We'll, we'll have more paths opened up to us, of course. And that seems like it would be the case. It just seemed very, very abrupt. A very abrupt planet at the moment. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe if you're so inclined. Check out my channel for all my other content that I have on there. My short films, reactions, reviews, breakdowns, other graves, plays, all that good stuff that's on there. And much, much more to come. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.